Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what is on my iPad. And if you guys are wondering, this is the 10th generation iPad. I just posted a really long video last week, so I might as well just tone it down a little bit for this week. I'm going to show you guys what's on here and I'm so excited because I wanted to wait until I actually got like everything down to my iPad and how I use all my apps and what apps I don't use. The case that I have have is from Amazon. I will leave it linked down in the description box. It is just this nice sleek black case and then the back of it is actually clear but I put all these stickers on it to customize it to my liking. I really just have a mixture of Kirby, Jack Skellington, and Kuromi stickers. And you guys can see right here that there is like a little hole to where you can actually push out your pencil if you don't want to grab it from the actual inside cover of it. That is something that I like because whenever I'm in class, I can just, you know, pop it out through the little hole and it's easier than to just put my finger in and just try to stick it out. Another thing I want to point out is that the camera is only one. This iPad case, it is a trifold, so there are two ways that I have figured out how to use it. This and then your iPad would sit like this. And then you can also just literally have the same thing but have your iPad like this. So you can really have it to where it's like this or you can have it to where it's upright like this. The camera is actually on the side right here. So it is not up here how they used to be. Um, it is a little bit confusing because I imagine the iPad to like originally be used like this. I only use it like this when writing and I use it like this for watching videos. I really like this case because it has a slot for it and if you guys are wondering I'm not very sure what generation my pencil is but once I figured that out I will leave the name of it in the description box. I was gifted to this I'm pretty sure I said it in the vlog but this is my Apple pencil and it just opens up like that. That is the opening right there to be able to to charge it and this part it's like I don't know how to explain it but it's just it's something I fidget with so much when I'm like waiting for more notes I'm gonna turn you guys around so that we can go ahead and see what is on my iPad this is my lock screen as soon as you turn it on it is from Pinterest such a cute collage there are so many cute things on here for example it has the volume little ghost skeleton and it just has cassette tapes just different cute things that I felt that matched my vibe going in I used my fingerprint to get into my iPad and this is what my iPad looks like when you first get to the main page. So I only have two pages and my second page is literally just two folders. The top row of my iPad just has four widgets. So the first one says too pretty for lame shit. This one is just a cute thing of blue colors. The third one says need money for a Porsche. And then the fourth one is just a cause image. So I really liked these images. Moving on to the next row, I only have two widgets and this first one is just my calendar so this gives me a good description of what I usually have to do throughout the day. Now you can scroll through this and add like different types of events on here but I only chose the main one to be my calendar so that way I can just see what I have to do tomorrow and what I have to do that's left for today. So the only thing I have to do left today is just finish filming this video and I already finished that book Never Lie so I will be starting a new one most likely tomorrow or this weekend. The one next to the calendar is just a folder that I have named utilities. These are just stuff that I would most likely use every once in a while. So I have the app store, calendar, photos, weather, clock, camera, widget smith and reminder widget smith is what i use to make all these widgets but i don't really use these apps like that they're just mainly here for decoration and as to what i would normally use on my phone now the widget next to that shows the battery percentage for my ipad and for my apple pencil so 
my iPad is on 84%. And then it also says the percentage of the Apple Pencil. But one thing I don't like is that it doesn't actually show the exact percentage. Even when I click on it, uh, it doesn't show it. So if you guys know how to figure out how to get the Apple Pencil percentage, please let me know because I feel like I just can't rely on just the circle. I feel like I need like the actual numbers of it. Now, my third row is just two folders and two widgets. So this first folder is called Media. And in this folder, I have YouTube, SoundCloud, Pinterest, Canva, YouTube Studio, Hulu, Imaging, Edge, Lightroom, and PS Express. YouTube for obvious reasons, watching videos. This is just what my YouTube would look like. I don't really use SoundCloud like that, but I like it just to have music ideas. Pinterest is just Pinterest. And if you guys are wondering, I do have a Pinterest. I will leave that down in the description box. And I do have folders, but this is my Pinterest. My Pinterest is just at Lydia Carmen with two A's and I do have a bunch of boards on here. I have nail inspo, city life, room decor ideas, um, cars, haircut. So I really like Pinterest just to get inspiration for different types of ideas but it's just really aesthetically pleasing to look at. Canva is what I use to make my YouTube thumbnails. If you guys are wondering, I do use Canva. YouTube Studios for the obvious, just to see my analytics. Hulu is to watch movies or TV shows. And at the moment, I really need to catch up on some Hulu. This is what my Hulu looks like. I actually have to get into these shows right here for Dragon Ball. But um, on a regular basis, I usually watch The Great North, Bob's Burgers, or Family Guy. But these are all the shows that I watch. And then next, Imaging Edge is to connect my Sony camera. I'm pretty sure I can use the same app to connect it for this new camera. Lightroom and PS Express is what I used to use when I was editing pictures and doing photo shoots. Since I have not done that, I have not used these apps, but I will be taking pictures soon. Now exiting out, I do have another calendar right here. This one just shows the exact day of what today is. So today is March 28th and it's a Thursday. The next folder after that is KSU and this is just all the apps that I would use for school. I mainly use Cola Note, Chrome, Outlook, and Word. I also have my Gmail, Safari, Bookshelf, Google Drive, Notes, Freeform, Measure, Magnifier, and Microsoft Teams. So Cola Note is the app that I use to take my notes for school. And I will show you guys an example right here. So I have all of my classes. I have public speaking, sources and investigations, visual comm, and writing for public comm. For visual comm, I have sectioned everything off into folders. So I have quiz one, quiz two, quiz three, and quiz four. And I also have this one document. This one just has our course syllabus. I would basically scratch off what we did for that day. So for example, on Wednesday, March 27th, we continue taking notes for chapter nine. So I just scratched that off after class ended. So it just really helps me be much more organized when I have the class syllabus into the class folder. I will show you guys how I sectioned off my notes. So for quiz three, we were quizzed on chapters six, seven, and eight. So I just put those chapters into one folder so that way when I'm studying for the quiz, it's easier for me to be able to look at just those chapters and review my notes instead of just having my notes all throughout this page, if that makes sense. So for quiz four, I have chapter nine so far. This is what my notes are looking like. I do color coordinate my notes and I have my favorite colors right here on the side. And this is just what my notes are looking like. So I do write the date and then what we did for that class period. Now up here, I really like Cola Note because there's different types of colors that you can use if you get their premium subscription, if I'm not mistaken. If you tap on here, 
it gives you all these colors that you can use to write down which i found it really helpful just because if you're like me and you just like color coordinating everything having multiple pens or multiple markers or, or color pencils it really gets heavy and so i figured that this would just be much easier you can change the width and the opacity on each color you can have a ball pen a dotted pen a felt tip pen just different types of pens here that are useful when writing. Now there is also a highlighter option which is this one and you can also change the color of this one. This one has a variety of colors and the marker options you get vector marker, realistic marker, rounded line marker, and rectangular line marker and you can also change the width and the opacity as well. Then you can also select so let's say if I want to select dialogue I will just select it like that and then I can copy the image, recognize the text, copy, cut, or duplicate so let's say if I want to duplicate it and here I can move it and it just duplicates what I highlighted right here. And I can leave it right here or I can just delete it if I did it by mistake. So Colo Note is really helpful when doing schoolwork just because there's so many options I can do on here. Here's an eraser. You can also insert text. You have a built-in ruler. And you can also upload images, even use these images that they provide you. So you can add a speech bubble and you can just put it right there. No, this is not sponsored by Colono whatsoever, but I just really enjoy their app and my cousins actually introduced me to it. So I'm very glad that they did because this is such a useful app. You can also import PDFs, make a new folder, a new note, or just do a quick note and then you have your settings. So Colono is a really good app. But yeah, Google Chrome, very simple. Using it for Safari. Outlook is for my emails. Word is for typing for my writing class. So this is an example. Gmail, same thing, just for my emails. Um, Safari. Safari, Google Drive, just the basics. And then the widget next to that is just another cause image. Now, you guys are probably wondering how I did this space. What I ended up doing was just putting a folder right here in the meantime. And then I put this widget of a Porsche down at the bottom. Once when this widget was set, I moved the folder back up here so that way it could leave the space. Now to the next page, I only have two folders on here just because I never am really on this page whatsoever but in the first folder it's my miscellaneous folder which just has home podcast apple tv news books maps files mail stocks pages apple store clips iMovie garage band numbers keynote tips photo booth translate shortcuts voice memos itunes store health and amazon the folder after that is games and I have not played these games whatsoever but the only games that I have on here is pizza, township, and scavenger hunt. And then going back out to the main page on the bottom row right here all I have is iMessage, Apple Music, Settings. This half is what I use the most so it's Word, Colonote, Hulu, and then there's a bunch of folders that come up and everything is like grouped into certain things. But I'm pretty sure Apple does that on their own because I have never grouped these at all. That is the what's on my iPad video. Hopefully you guys could get some use or some ideas on it. What apps that you could also use. I highly recommend Colono if you're not looking to get good notes because Colono is a really good alternative. So yes, this is what my iPad looks like. That is the back of it. And the color, if you guys are wondering, it is the blue version of the iPad. That that's it for what's on my iPad. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.